Hey guys, welcome to the other side of the coin. Uh, I want to make these short videos more frequently. I haven't been doing it, but I want to get into the habit of it. And I want to talk about um, certain current affairs within Chelsea uh, football community and talk about particular topics that are you know hot at the moment, I suppose. So right now, one of the big biggest topics that's going around is the keeper situation that we have. You know, we've got Willy Caballero, we've got Kepa and Frank's concerns around the whole situation. And I thought I'll uh, provide my opinion, um, you know, the other side of the coin, I suppose, of this matter. Uh, first of all, I want to um, look into this by, you know, realising the history of Kepa in Chelsea, I suppose. So he came in last season uh, under Sari. Um, one of the most expensive goalkeepers. I think he's the most expensive goalkeeper at the moment. And um, last season, you know, to be honest, I think he had a very good season. You know, there's been some instrumental performances, you know, most notably in uh, Europa League, um, up against Frankfurt in the semi final, um, the heroics in the penalty shootouts, uh, and, and there's been some key saves in the Premier League as well. So overall, you know, last season, I feel. It's been a success. Yes, there's been some uh, incidents of you know poor keeping. I suppose long range shots tend to get him uh, most of the times. But in all in all, I thought he had a very good season, and uh, you know he's rightfully Chelsea's number one. Now come to this season under Frank Lampard, lots of expectation that he was going to take his game to the next level. But it hasn't been like that, you know. We're, we're more than halfway through the season. We're in February now um, of of this particular season, and um, you know, there, there's been ins instances where he's he's had very good games, where he's you know saved points for us or even won points for us. You know, there was one notably uh, a particular game against Lille away from home in Champions League, where I believe he kept us in the game, and you know, eventually the three points he played a big part in it. And there's been other instances as well where you know he's played a massive part in uh, you know making sure we kept the three points or saved points as well. But there's been many many incidents this season where you know he's he's he hasn't been at his best. Um, one of the biggest issues we've had this season was uh, is uh, still is um, our issue in regards to Sepi's defending. And you know yes we can say that. We should fix the defense first, and you know I completely agree with that. But at the same time, Kepa could have saved us as well by commanding that uh, box. Uh, you know, he, he should be owning everything that comes into that box, especially when it's a corner or a free kick. Uh, but he doesn't tend to have the confidence sometimes to go out there and uh, you know really, really command that box and and really, really you know own that um, box. Yeah against the opposition so you know frank's come out in recent times and he's uh, you know th there's been at least two instances where frank has publicly criticized uh kepa not not in an aggressive manner but he said that you know kepa knows that he's made mistakes and you know they've, they've cost us certain games as well so you know, it's come to a point where Frank is not shying away from this particular situation. He realizes that there is a bit of an issue, and um, in the fan base, we've been talking about it, but none of us ever expected that. You know, we've we've sort of laughed about it, we've talked about it that oh, he should be dropped, Kepa should be dropped. You know, Willy Caballero should be given a bit of a chance. You know, we should be looking for a keeper. Um, you know, January window is gone, but probably should be looking for a keeper during summer so we've been talking about these sort of things but i don't think anyone most of them were really really serious about it but against leicester we saw exactly what frank thought yeah he's finally dropped kepa and he's got in uh, got you know got willy caballero a chance now it's to a point where well how do you drop willy caballero i don't think i feel like personally i feel like he's got to continue on with willy caballero um the reason being, you can't simply just drop someone after one game and you can't simply teach someone a lesson just by giving them a one game sort of break. Um, so, you know, I want Frank to continue on using Willy Caballero. Yes, it's going to be tough. We've seen it against Leicester where there's, there were times where Willy, uh, you know, didn't feel too comfortable at the back with the, you know, building up and whatnot. It, it was no nonsense attitude for him. He would just simply booted it up. Um, but I think this is the pain that we've got to suffer for the time being. I want Kepa. I still believe Kepa is, you know, a top-notch keeper.
but he is going through a bad run and he needs to understand that he's got to work hard to get back into this team. You know, nothing is for granted, nothing is forgiven here. Um, you know, I hope he works hard, gets that burning desire back and truly, truly makes Frank believe that he is Chelsea's undoubtedly number one goalkeeper. So, you know, until Frank sees that, until he sees the desire in the training ground that he's truly working hard and that he wants that number one spot back ASAP, keep continuing with Willy Caballero. And if it doesn't work, if we don't see the desire back, well, too bad. Let's go to summer window and let's search for a new keeper. You know, we live in a very professional environment where being emotional about these sort of things will not get you, you know, the results that we that we need uh, at a you know at a top club like Chelsea. You know, we need a keeper like Allison that Liverpool has. There's so many things that Liverpool is doing well that we probably need to you know look into. You know, keeper is one of them. You know, centre back is another one. We need a Virgil Van Dijk style of defender. Um, so yeah, um, um, my opinion, honest opinion, would be is to keep Willy Caballero between the sticks for the time being. And um, and hope for the best, to be honest. I know we've got Man United and Tottenham coming up next, and it might not be best suited to, to have Willie uh, as, as a goalkeeper, but so be it, so be it. And, um, yeah, let's hope that Kepa comes back strong. See ya.